Hello everyone, I'm come back with a huge update. And yes, now you can make cities in Godot. But how? And why this was not possible before? So let's talk about it in this video. Well, basically we solved two problems to make this possible. First problem was the huge amount of the memory which scene 3 uses in Godot. The Godot engine has several main components. Scene 3 is the one which you create nodes inside that. Let me show you what I mean. For example, here we have a mesh instance and a physics collision. Each of these nodes communicate with the server side of the Godot. Mesh instance sent some requests to the rendering server to draw at a cube, and physics node sent a request to the physics server to add a collision. Similarly, we have audio server, navigation server, and so on. In another video, I explained why scene 3 used so much RAM memory. Here we created a tool which you can create your scene, then just bake this scene into a custom resource, and this resource use much less RAM memory and it is much faster. So you can see here, I have a house here and this house contain a bunch of nodes. And I just click on bake and then all of my house is get baked into HLOD resource. So basically here, we removed a bunch of nodes which they use a bunch of memory. This was just the first problem. The second problem is the amount of the mesh instances that can be handled. Even now that my meshes use much less RAM memory, in a huge city like this, we will have millions of these mesh pieces. As an example, this was the house which I baked. If I click on info, you can see my house used 26 modular pieces. Each of these meshes are handled separately in the rendering server side. And if we have thousands of these houses in my scene, rendering server cannot handle all of these mesh instances. So here what we do is we create a low poly join mesh for our house. The way you make it, it's this. After you create your house, there is a section where you can create a join mesh. Just create your join mesh and then save it into the GLB file. And then open it in the blender just by clicking on the blender button here. Modify your join mesh and make it low poly. As you can see, I already made it low poly. And then just come into the export section and here we have a button for exporting back to the Godot. You also don't need to specify the path for the export, it's know where it should be saved. Now let's see what happened in Godot. So right now I have 26 mesh instances. Now if I get far away from this house, these 26 mesh instances become only one mesh instance. Basically that low poly join mesh that we made inside Blender at this distance replace all other meshes. But this is not the end of it. You can make layers of the join mesh. Let me show you what I mean. So this is another scene. And as you can see, I use different type of the houses, which I made and baked in another scene. This scene is a bit different from other scene. It does not contain item like meshes. Instead, it contain other HLOD, which are baked in another scene. Now, just like before, I can make a join mesh for this and bake also this to another HLOD. But as you can see here, the join mesh for this is going to kick in one LOD higher than the house join mesh. So now if I open this join mesh in Blender, you can see it is much more low poly. As we see these meshes from really far away, I remove all windows and doors. Even some bottom walls are removed as they are not visible from the far away. Okay, now we just created a part of our town. I call this district and then I create other district too. And then I just combine this district to one sector. So here also I make a join mesh for my sector, which is going to kick in in one LOD higher. So this is the join mesh for the sector. You can see it is really, really low poly. And then I use this sector to create a city of five kilometer by five kilometer. My city does not contain uh, a join mesh, but you can also make a join mesh for your city. So now let's look at my city. The mesh instance count right now it's around 6,000 mesh instances. Basically, without this system, this number would explode to millions and even the game could crash. Now, as I move inside my city, you can see this number changes, but still this number is acceptable. So what happened if I get really, really far away from the town? You can see now all of my sector join meshes kicked in, and now we have only 256 mesh instances. 
if I created a join mesh for my town, I would have only one instance right now. So this system has its own limitation. One of them is that this system is not completely flexible. But this is also not completely true. You can add Paxin into the HLOD resource and attach a script to it and control some stuff and even make some changes. But it is not easy as like, you know, the scene tree. It is a little bit more difficult. And for now, at the time of the recording this video, this system support these type of the items. You can add meshes with different LOD, obviously. You can add collision into HLOD. You can even add Paxin and attach a script to it to control some stuff. In future, we have planned to add more stuff to this, like audio, backlight map, and navigation mesh. Currently, also, this plugin is in dev state. It means in future, it can be updated, uh, which could break some stuff in old projects. But I'm going to start to make more tutorial video about how you should use this system because the concept will not change. Also, if you want to use this, I encourage you to download it and test it because it, this needs a lot of practice. We will also add some documentation in the wiki soon. I put the link of the wiki down in the video description. And at last, let us know what you think about this and uh, have a good time. Till the next video, bye.